wish I had a faster powder dispenser. This poor thing's taking forever. And ever. And ever. I wish I had a genie that could grant me a wish. I wish I had one of those Frankfurt Arsenal and Teledroppers. Shazam! Oh my gosh, look at that! A Frankfurt Arsenal and Teledropper. Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP2020 Outdoors. Check this out. I want to thank Frankfurt Arsenal for sending me out there in Teledropper to review. You know, it's been a long time coming that I get an upgraded electronic powder dispenser. Let's go check out the features. Before we actually get into the operation of the Frankfurt Arsenal and Teledropper, I want to point out some things. I've watched several videos on YouTube. And number one, I'm just speaking from the experience of an electrical engineer. Some of you folks have followed me on my YouTube channel. You know I'm a, a degreed electrical engineer. So I know something about electronics and electromechanical devices. Number one, the way the scale works, this is a platen or platen. And that actually sets upon this device as a load cell. Now I've been watching some YouTubers and they have been, in my estimation, uh, damaging the load cell. They've been very rough on their scale itself in regards to putting the pan back in place. That's one thing that I've been very knowledgeable about is to be very uh, ginger or very careful in replacing your pan onto the platen because the load cell is highly sensitive you do not want to damage that here's the manual and i'll tell you what frankfurt arsenal has really simplified these electronic powder dispensers this manual is all of five pages long so i just highly recommend that you read it very well written very easy to follow so the first thing we want to do when you set up your frankfurt arsenal intelledropper is let's go ahead and calibrate it so there are 250 gram included weights We'll go ahead and hit the cow button right here. And it says stable and it wants you to place the 50 gram. Now you want to be careful, you want to get this centered as close to the dispensing tube as possible. It says it's stable, hit cow again. That's going to ask you for a hundred, so you're going to set the other. What I do is I set it right on top of the existing. Now you notice I'm being very careful. Shows a hundred. We'll hit cow. It says pass. So we're done calibrating. Once again, just be very careful. We'll go ahead and place our pan back on the platen so that's something I pay attention to the pan itself is approximately 130.2 grains we'll go ahead and zero now this is one feature I'll go ahead and zoom in on the screen itself If you look at the display on the HMI, the human machine interface, you see a powder cow. So right now I'm using, this is accurate, 5744. This is a extruded powder, short stick I would call it. Let's go ahead and press the powder cow button, see what happens. So you see what happens is this, this Frankfurt Arsenal Intelledropper is going through a series of programming steps or algorithms and it is learning the characteristics of this specific powder, which is phenomenal if you think about it. It's actually dropping the powder at different varying speeds 
so many grains per second, I assume, depending upon how many rotations. Look at that. And look at that. It learned it already. That is awesome. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, that's the other thing, folks. I've seen all these other YouTube videos. You see guys hitting that dispenser tube with the scale. Just be careful on what you're doing. Before I forget, if you notice, there's a bubble level right here that it levels in the X and Y planes. It's almost like an RV level. The four legs on the base of the scale itself rotate just like the legs on your washer and dryer or your range. So you definitely want to level the scale before you get set up, which I already did right there. Let's go ahead and start dropping some charge weights here. If you notice, I am in manual mode right now. So I'm going to drop, let's say, 14.5 grains. And I'll go ahead and hit start, which is this play button. That's pretty sweet. That's definitely a lot faster than that old powder dispenser I had. So I'm just zooming into my, this is my old standby, my OHAS 1010 analog scale. Double checked it against the 14 and a half grain. And it's bang on dead nuts. Here's a feature that sold me on the Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper. You know, I've been a reloader for since 1988. Oh my gosh, coming up on my 32nd year of reloading, I think. And believe it or not, see all these envelopes? This is how I used to keep my load data. I know, it's crazy, but it works for me, all right? I mean, I literally have, I don't know, close to over 100 of these laying around. And I, I know it's time that I move into the 21st century. One thing awesome about this IntelliDropper it has a Bluetooth smartphone interface. And this was so easy to set up. You just go to your smartphone and you just go to your connections. And as soon as you enable the Bluetooth, it automatically finds this IntelliDropper and you're good to go. If you notice, it has a Bluetooth symbol that shows that I'm connected. So I want to show you some of the cool features of the IntelliDropper with the smartphone app. Once again, I just went to my uh, Play Store. And we go to my database, and I already set up a, a load for a 300 AAC blackout. If I look at the summary, let me go ahead and zoom in on it so you guys can see better. So the caliber cartridge is 300 AAC blackout. The bullet is a Lehigh Defense Extreme Cavitator. It actually shows all the details of the bullet. The bullet length, the caliber, the weight. You can do the SD, which I did not know. And the ballistic coefficient of 0.151. I also added the powder. This is an accurate MP5744. Cartridge overall length 1.65. Firearm Ruger American Ranch Primer CCI450. These are the small magnum rifle primers. The big thing is the load is 14.5 grains. You can do group size and velocity. So I'll select that. Here's a sweet feature folks. See that send to scale? I'm going to go ahead and send that to the scale. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. I am loving that big time. Look at that. And it's trickling. Boom. 14.5. Stable. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to switch the mode to automatic. And let's just start banging out some loads here. We'll see how fast we can do, uh, so I'm in automatic mode. Here we go. Boom, done. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. 
2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 12 seconds. Sweet. Man, folks, I am definitely loving this IntelliDropper, no doubt. See that, folks? The uh, smartphone app mirrors what the scale shows. Okay, and I already switched back to manual mode. The play button. That is too sweet. So another feature, this is the, I call it the trap door. <laughs> if you guys have ever used uh, powder dispensers, <laughs> it only takes one or two times to forget to close this off to when you pour the powder in for the next loading session and you, in your horror, the powder starts spilling everywhere. So just a reminder, just make sure that is shut off. Another nice feature, it's got a nice little brush here to clean out the powder kernels. All right, folks, it's Neato with AP 2020 Outdoors. Man, I am pumped and psyched at the same time. I'm so glad that Frankfurt Arsenal sent me out this IntelliDropper to replace my old electronic powder scale. As you all know, man, I just love to reload. And I think this is definitely a welcome addition to my reloading bench. So this Neato with AP 2020 Outdoors, remember, support that Second Amendment rights Please go to my App 2020 Outdoor Store. Video link description below. Help support the channel. We'll see y'all later. Thank you. Bye.